Hi everyone, this is Stephen. Welcome to this brief self-care break. Often we wait for other people to take better care of us. We expect our spouse to step in, our boss, our political leaders, our kids, our neighbors, whoever around us. But actually, guess what? You are the one that you've been waiting for. If you need a break, it's time for you to give yourself a break. That's the best way to go about this. And here's a short little practice that you can do with me, which is going to make an immediate difference. You will see in just a few minutes. So sit comfortably in a chair on the floor, doesn't matter. And uh, take the first two fingers of each hand, place them on your temples. There's like a sort of softer spot and just gently make little circles around the temple, applying some gentle pressure. You're welcome to close your eyes. So you can just tune in. You can move around a little bit on the side of the head, on the forehead. There's a lot of um, quite sensitive spots. So these muscles tend to uh, become a little bit overworked. Good. And then go a little bit lower. So in front of the ears, there's the jaw, the muscles of the jaw that help you um, bite and also move your jaws, you're talking. So dig in there with your fingers. I like to use the two first fingers of each hand. You can go up and down, but try to get in there a little bit. You'll feel there's some quite sensitive spots and some strong muscles that, um, that close and open the jaw. So get in there. I've never met a person that didn't carry some excess tension in the jaw. So um, it's likely that, that you'll find some work to do there. Good. And then move to the base of the skull. You'll feel there's a bit of a hard ridge where the skull um, becomes the neck. So just go side to side. And again, dig your fingers into the base of the skull. So you can go the back of the neck and then slide a little bit to the side. You'll feel that there's some, um, some quite sensitive spots. So don't press too hard. You can make little circles or slide along the edge of the skull there, the bottom. And then find these two ridges if you tuck your chin in a little bit. There's the back of the neck with two strong muscles running straight down. So then move, start at the top and gently press down as you slide down the strong muscles at the back of the neck. It helps to lean the head a little bit forward so you feel those muscles a little bit more clearly. You can apply some good pressure, but of course without causing discomfort or pain. That's not what we're looking for. This is a self-care break, remember. Good. And then just choose the side of the neck and make little circles a couple of times on the sides. These muscles get quite fatigue because of our computer, desk work, screen time, you can imagine. Good. Now, a little bit of shoulder, take your right arm over the left shoulder and you'll feel there's this hard ridge across here, which is the, the top of the shoulder blade. Go just above it and dig into these strong muscles, which get quite um, tight as well. Those are muscles that, that lift the shoulders up and they get activated with tension or poor posture or a poor breathing as well. So just dig in there, the tip of the shoulder blade. There's some quite sensitive spots there. And then you'll, you'll feel where you need to spend a little bit more time. And then same hand, go under your armpit to the sides here. You'll again feel the edge of the shoulder blade. Go a little bit inside the edge, so more to the lateral side. And again, dig in there just behind the armpit. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll find some spots that, um, that are surprisingly sensitive. Or um, perhaps I'm the only one. Actually, no, I'm quite sure I'm not. So dig in there with your fingers and give yourself a little bit of um, that self-care that um, we need at this time. Good. Other hand, go over your right shoulder. Dig in there, top of the shoulder blade is that sort of hard ridge here. And then go just above and a little bit more towards the middle. And you'll feel there's some work to do. And it doesn't matter how much you stretch or move or do yoga. Um, this is um, something that can always use a little bit more attention. 
or maybe you've never done anything like this and uh, this opens up a whole new world of possibility for you. So dig in there, feel the, the sensitive spots that need a little bit of work. And then last one, left arm under your right armpit. Find the edge of the shoulder blade, that hard part, and then go slide a little bit more outwards to the outer shoulder there and dig in. Those are the rotator cuff muscles that keep your arm stable and mobile inside the shoulder joint. But because of repetitive um, movements and often lack of movement, a lot of these muscles are finding themselves in a bit of a tighter spot than they could be. Good, last one, press a little bit, find where some attention is needed and then release that. You can roll the shoulders a couple of times. Feel the difference in the neck. We've done the sides of the neck, we've done the temples, the jaw and a bit on the shoulders. Come back to this often, take good care of yourself and I'll see you here again soon. All the best.